Hello everyone, welcome back to Green Bay Classics YouTube. Little uh, little adventure today. We didn't have to venture far for it, but we got a little bit of a surprise. And for the price I paid, I think we did pretty darn good today. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share with all your friends. for all its beauty. What we have here is a 1986 Yamaha Virago, or however you say that. I don't even know how many cc's yet, but when I saw that mural on the front, I knew I had to have it. So why don't you, in the comments below, let me know what you think I paid for this bad little girl. It's a 1986, it's not running but it is complete, came with a title. So let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Jordan here. I am with the new bike. And uh, now that I have it unloaded, got it in the garage, I'll get uh, let you guys take a better look. Uh, maybe a better guess at what I paid. So here you go. So don't judge too harshly. This is exactly how I found it. I'm, uh, I'm gonna wipe it down here shortly, but I wanted to give a clear, clear view of how, exactly how it was found. In comparison to that 1981 Yamaha that we got up and running just a while ago, this one's actually quite a bit cleaner. When I uh, got that 81 home, I found so much mouse nest and stuff in the carbs that it was unreal. So in comparison, this one's pretty darn clean. Not only clean, but complete. The air breather for this side, which is go right there. The side panels, owner's manual, extra spark plugs. Kind of unreal. I believe the last it ran was 2018. So I have a little bit of work out of me, but that's exactly why I got it. I know in the earlier video, I said a mural wrong. That's all right, I say a lot of things wrong. You can make fun of me. I can handle it, not a big deal. ANS Auto Paint something. Sissy bar, tulip seat, fuels, shaft driven, which is great. Great for maintenance anyway, and great for if something was gonna sit, getting it back. Those things are pretty, pretty foolproof. And it is a 1100, which I love. That's what my guess was, but I wanted to make sure. So there you are. That's the exact way that it was found. I'm gonna work out here for a little bit and clean it up and see how much better we can make it looking just for a little bit. Thank you very much for watching.
everyone. Just sprayed down the bike, and even though it feels pretty nice in here, it just instantly turned ice. So technically, it smells better, but it doesn't look any better until I thaw it out. So the cleaned up version is gonna have to come later once it warms up a little bit. I do have the fire started now, so it won't take long, but but I'll chisel chisel it away, and once it does melt, it's gonna take a lot of dirt with it. So that's good news anyway. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share with all your friends.